listening to? I said, what are you listening to? What? What are you listening to? Death metal, bitch. Oh. <sighs> what do you think you're at listening to, to, to death metal satanic music? You conjure up the queer fella and you drag it down to Hades. Ah, you spoil all my fun. Oh, summoning up the queer fella's far from fun. Now tell me the six things I told you not to do that summons up the queer fella. All right. Number one, mm -hmm. listening to death metal, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Number two, spitting in the church. Yep. Uh, number three, uh, shouting at goats. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, <sighs> having dirty dreams about Mary Black. <laughs> <laughs> number five. Oh, uh, right. Uh, number five, uh, putting go faster stripes on your car. And uh, number six, uh, uh, microwave and pets. <laughs> Have you fed that cat? <laughs> Eat that, you flea bitten, mange ridden now, yo. Go on, you nerdy never yet. Right, so no more Dave. summons it up the queer out of your feckless rogue. Yeah. You'd end up like that poor Egypt, Damien McArsagon. Who? Ah, you know him. Damien McArsagon from Six Mile Hole. No. What about him? Ah, he used to foot around with the hooved one. He doesn't any more, though. Not after that evening in Gussie Balocken's pub back in 1985. Ah, Damien was full of hot air. A ah, real show-off. Coming up with all sorts of stories about the queer fella. Ah, he'd tell them of how he'd outwitted the devil in a game of poker and how Beelzebub was doing all sorts of favours for him. What, what kind of favours? Like, um, like putting the bins out? No, you gobsheen. He was talking a load of old fibs. Anyway, the barman asked Damien what price would he put on his soul. The bar went silent, oh. and Damien said, I'd sell my soul for a night with a fancy woman. Just like one of them ones you'd see up in Dublin. Even before he finished the sentence, a raven-haired beauty waltzed into the bar. She had eyes of fire and oh. lips like cherries. A beauty to behold. A bit like Mary Black. Yeah, I, I suppose so. Jeez. All the men in the bar were oh. captivated. No one had seen such a vision round those parts before. Could I buy you a glass of stout? asked Damien, mesmerised. She said nothing. Oh. Flicked a fifty pence piece sixty feet across the room, and it landed in the old jukebox. Good shot. She grabbed Damien by the hand as the music began. If it was it then? Wind beneath my wings. No. Do you have right? Um, Wanna be by the, the the spicy girls. No. It was Lady in Red. Oh, they danced for hours. He was totally besotted. He could resist no longer, so he kissed her cherry lips. He felt her tongue slither down his throat. Pierce his heart <laughs> and wrap itself around his very soul. And it was only then he noticed, instead of dainty feet, she had cloven hooves. <laughs> With his identity revealed, the queer fella vanished, leaving nothing but a cloud of smoke and the pungent smell of sulfur. So did your man survive or what, Pudge? Ah, he did for a couple of miserable years yeah. anyway. Mm. Then he died, but no graveyard would take him. Yeah. <laughs> sure, where would you bury someone without a soul? Oh, oh no. I won't be teasing the queer fella anymore, Pudge. Glad no. to hear it, Pudge. Do you fancy a tongue sandwich, Pudge? Ah, I don't mind if I do. <laughs> Them sandwiches are in the shape of a pentangle. The mark of the queer fella himself. <laughs> All this talk of the queer fella's reminded me. They must go to the Chiropodist one of these days. <laughs> <laughs>